Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Remember Bear with 1Password. The first thing I would talk about are pricing plans, then I'll look at the main features and what I actually recommend for you to use. So let's start. Now, Remember Bear offers you two ways. The first one is a free one. You use Remember on one device for free, so I have it like here on my computer, So, but I can't use it on phone. And then you have for $6 a month and get premium. So that's like 62 bucks a year. I mean, 72 bucks a year. I don't even know how to count. So, and you get like all items across all your devices. So like phone and everything, secure your backup, your remember bear, priority customer service, incredible application that you have like integrations here. Now, then on pricing plan on a one password you have for family. And then also you have for yourself. So that's like $36 per year. And you got unlimited passwords, Windows, Android, Linux, everything. So one password is like the safest, but you get only free for 14 days. So you get a free trial. You can test the, those both apps in the description. Uh, so the Remember Bear is winning here on a free department that they have free account. On one password, you can have only free 14 day free trial. On team and business, you can have also if you have a team and this is like with the two factor authentication. And you can also manage, like, let's say that you, you put a card here and your team can pay with it, but they won't ever know what is like the whole card about or like the business card. So this is like really great. And also for the family, uh, what I really like is that you can share with your spouse retirement plans and also utilities and everything. So that's really great. So one password families, one password top notch thing, I think. But again, uh, you need to pay it annually not monthly so and you have only free 14 day trial so they're kind of losing but the quality you're gonna get in one password is really good if you are if you want to have it with family now let's talk about what you can actually do here and what you can accomplish they are both the same and they are identical it all depends which one you like more so when you would come here in one password, the one thing that I really like is that they have Watchtower. So compromised websites, reused passwords, weak passwords, unsecured websites, two-factor that, that you're going to have and expiring. And then you're going to see like logins here. But what you can do actually is just click plus here and simply add identity, password, document, bank account, database, driver lenses, email account, membership, wireless router, literally everything here, right? On Remember Bear, it's also really simple. So when you would come here, you're going to see it here that you got login. You just click here, add new login. You add name, email, username, password, website. You can also like generate it here. Website like Facebook, two-step code and notes. And then you get like credit card trash. But again, you can have it only for like one device for the computer. I recommend check both of up which one you like more. They're both secure for the HIS-256. So mm, you're not going to make a mistake. But in my opinion, if you want to really use it for a long time, I would go with one password. I know it's a little bit more expensive, not on monthly base, but that you have to pay for a year. But this is pretty much it. Only because you can have it on Linux. Uh, they got more reviews everywhere. And they've been here for all over the time. So Thank you very much everybody for watching. Let me down below which one you're going to choose. And this is pretty much it. This is the same with the one pass where you automatically add and finish. So yeah, thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.